Hi guys! Today I want to show you how I motorized this Edel Crone slider in this very kitchen in about two to three hours. With uh, minimum tools, no soldering, no 3D printing, no nothing. I bought all the parts on Amazon. I'll show them to you except of course the slider. It comes in this nice case and nobody's paying me for anything that I'm saying today. So let's see what's inside of this case and let me show you how I did this. What's interesting about the slider is that when uh, you put it on a solid surface, it works uh, like a regular slider. But when you set it on a tripod, it actually travels almost double its length. So to give this guy a push, we need to change half of its cloth belt with the timing belt and install the electric motor with the pulley somewhere on the end of it. My initial idea was to tap a couple of holes uh, into that aluminum end of the slider and attach the motor like this, because that would be a perfect position for it. But then I thought maybe I can save some time and I can use those holes on top of that slider end that already tapped for attaching the, its native modules. And uh, yeah, I decided to use them first to see how it works. For this, all I needed was to drill one extra hole in the bracket. As easy as that, bracket sits nice and tight. Let's put in the motor. There is no big forces that affect that motor, so I only use three screws to attach it to the bracket and that is more than enough. This way. There you go. Believe it or not, but we finished with the mechanical part right here. Uh, now let's take a look at the electronics. At this point, I wanted just to connect everything as it is to see how the whole thing works, how the slider responds to the motor. So as you witness it, it works. Of course, it can be used like this. But this position of the motor is not ideal. And so is the looping of that belt and feeding it through the bottom of the pulley. And after some testings with a heavier load and uh, an inclined position of the slider, I decided to go back to my initial idea, tap a couple of holes at the end of it and affix that motor in a proper way. You will see update later in this video. My first enclosure box for the electronic was a carton box from the Apple's Magic Mouse. And it was almost perfect, but almost sometimes is not enough. So I'll switch it to the different one, I'll show you later. And by the way, I'm using here a 10 RPM motor, which I thought with the help of the speed controller will be good for both time lapse and regular shooting. But it's too fast for the time lapse and a little bit too slow for the regular sliding motion. And it can be loud. This wooden table resonates a lot, so it's much quieter when on the tripod or on some solid ground. I'll have more information about the speed of the motor later in this video. Here is a quick update on the enclosure box for the electronics. I couldn't find what I was looking for, uh, like a tin box from candies or tea that I thought would be nice. So I just took this gift box, the carton gift box uh, and, and, and fitted everything inside. And it works, it serves the purpose for now. And again, most important thing here, be creative, be free, don't be afraid to improvise, use whatever you want, whatever you think is appropriate, whatever you like, how it looks. It's, it really doesn't matter that much and you don't have to copy every tutorial.
after some testing my perfectionism kicked in and I decided to go back to the initial idea and uh, attach the motor to the end of the slider as I planned in the very beginning for its proper and ideal position. Talking again about motor speeds, I'm planning on testing out two more motors that I ordered from Amazon. Uh, one is 2 RPM, the another one is 40. So the slower one should be good for time-lapse photography and uh, 40 for, for regular shooting. Uh, it takes about a couple of weeks for me to get them here in Canary Islands. So as soon as I get them, I will test them in a different situations and we'll post some videos on my channel. I'm happy with it. I hope you enjoyed it too. Let me know if you did. Get those ideas, bring them to life. I'll see you in the next video.